I was just going to say, we got to stop the revolving door between Wall Street and the Treasury Department. We do those two things, and we resurrect Andrew Jackson, and we got it made. But this crew is going to stage terror attacks, wars, martial law before they let us do it. But since the people are now awake to all of that, it's only a matter of time before these people fall. I mean, once the sh that's why they would never say the Federal Reserve was private. That's why when we would read official U.N. documents calling for world government, the media would say we were nuts, it didn't exist, because they could never admit that there was an illegitimate shadow global corporate government, because then people would stop being distracted by the puppets and actually start having a debate about the real power structure. And now that people know there's a global government, now that it's admitted we're going into world government, now more and more whistleblowers are coming out exposing them. I mean, we've got a long, hard road to follow here. But at the end of it, we're going to beat these people. We are, and we're going to get our country back. And it is going to be nasty. And they do have the ability to take the economy down any time they feel like it. And so if we challenge them and they lose, they are going to take it down. But it's going to go down anyway. And it should have went down in the first place. That's classical economics. We don't stand around and allow the Fed Reserve or the likes of it to do what they've done. We take the economy down. In 19, 20, 21, we had the same situation. And the president just walked away and said, look, let it take its course. And it did. And we were out of the recession in a year. And it boomed during the 20s, of course, too much. And then, of course, the Fed pulled the plug again. And this is all rigged. It's all contrived to make gazillions of dollars for these people and ensconce them greater, greater, greater power. But they clearly overplayed their hand this time because resistance to them is just mounting. Well, that's why we got to keep on hammering on. And that's like with you, yourself and, and myself, uh, we went, you know, hammer and tong after that climate gate. And it was a, a tremendous issue. I mean, I'm getting on stations I would have never got on uh, before Fox called, uh, emailed me and asked me to go on. Uh, we had uh, Rush and, and, uh, and uh, O'Reilly use tapes of mine from the shows that I've been on on the air. I mean, they're trying to capture uh, the flavor of the thing so they can continue to get their ratings, and the ratings aren't there for them. They're falling off in their ratings, and that's why they're doing that. And, Alex, you pointed that out before. Well, absolutely. The founder of the Tea Parties, the guy that actually started it to be nonpartisan, anti-Federal Reserve, he went on Fox, of all places, and said, Glenn Beck and the fake Republicans have hijacked our movement. And so, and then Jesse Ventura's new TV show gets the highest ratings True TV's ever had. And it should. All Jesse's doing is say, hey, look at this. This, this is the truth. This is the way it is. And this is all the people want. Tell us the truth and which direction we should go. Well, folks, there is some positive things happening, but we're not out of the woods yet, as they say. The, the woods are lovely, dark, and deep, but we've got miles to go before we sleep. In fact, somebody pull up that poem for me. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep, but I have miles to go before I sleep. I want to read that poem later. Uh, Bob, I want to take some calls. They're all over the map from earlier, but you can comment on any issue. Let's talk to Jake in California. Jake, you're on the air. Hey man, uh, I'm uh, enjoying the program this morning. I have. Um, uh, I just wanted to say hi. I got a friend in Northern Mississippi that listens to you regularly, Susie Q. So, anyhow, um, let me just say. Uh, first of all, I wanted to make a comment on what you guys just said regarding the economy. But Alex, I'd like to make a request. Would you please have Dr. Deagle on sometime in the near future to discuss? All right, you got to make your point, sir. I go ahead and uh, make your point. Okay, well, the point I, I wanted to make is I completely disagree with what you guys just said that we're going to get this country back. Literally, that would take a miracle. That's not going to be us. It's going to be a miracle. There is a course that's been set. You actually have been a proponent of that. You've been speaking about it. And so we don't just have some miraculous turnaround. Wow. Uh, and, I mean, this is a really defeatist phone call here, Jack. No, it's, it's, it's not a defeatist phone call. It's what it is, is it's a realistic phone call, and a lot of it is based on the data that you've passed in the past. So, I mean, when you, you know, when you pass data to us and tell us that, you know, basically we're in an enormous amount of trouble, which is true, we can see that, 
and then in the next breath to say we're going to win this thing, we're not. But we better. Right, listen, just- I, listen. You got the wrong show, then, bro. Okay, uh, you've got the wrong radio show. Since we're not going to beat anything, go out and party and have a great time. Okay, you got the wrong show. The climate gate is devastating him. Copenhagen is going to fail. They're still going to try to implement all this at the grassroots level. We've got to go out with a winning attitude and engage these people at the local level and take our communities back by standing up against them. Uh, the Federal Reserve, we just pointed out all the stuff they're going to try to pull on us. But the beginning of the end is happening for them. And, I mean, I just don't even know what to say where I'm bad for saying we can win this thing. This is a process. It's not going to happen overnight, but we have to reach out to people. We've got to get involved. And I know history, and I know the situation we're facing, and I know we've got a chance to reverse this. Uh, Bob, I want to get your take on that call when we come back. Uh, I mean, I, I, I just... Uh, People don't understand what attitude is about and initiative and knowing we're in the right and standing up and saying we're going to win. They don't understand warfare. They don't understand info war. They don't understand we've got the truth. We've got the ultimate weapon on our side. They don't understand that the enemy is imploding at every level. Man, that makes me sick.